Hey guys, sorry I didn't actually get to sit down and film an intro for this video, but for this look I'm going to be basically redoing the look I did in my July favorites. And I got this technique from Layla Rose, so I will link her video down below. The look is pretty much the exact same, so the technique is hers, but I use the Modern Renaissance palette, which I've really been loving. So it's a little bit more dramatic this time I think from the last, but hopefully you guys enjoy it and let's get started. So if you guys saw my July favorites video, I talked about how much I've really been enjoying these Tarte concealers. I'm just using mine in the shade Light Medium as my eyeshadow base. I really like these concealers because they dry down to a matte finish, so they're perfect for using as like an eye primer. And I always like to go ahead and set that with a cream eyeshadow. This will just help your eyeshadows blend a lot easier over top. I'm still going to go with my go-to transition color, which is Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. As you guys can see, I use this color a lot. And I'm going to go with my big blending brush from BH Cosmetics and just start putting that right into the crease as you normally would. You kind of want to take this up just a little bit higher, but you really don't have to worry about being neat right now. To add a little bit more depth, I'm going to take Creme Brulee also from Makeup Geek. This step is kind of unnecessary, but I always find it to be a little bit easier to start gradually layering deeper colors over top and that's just going to make the whole blending process a lot easier. Now finally we are getting into the palette and the first color I'm going in with is Burnt Orange and I'm going to take that on my Morphe M441 brush. It's one of my favorite crease brushes and we're going to take that pretty much right into the crease and again kind of take it up a little bit higher than we normally would. I really do love the quality of these shadows. I find them to be very pigmented, easy to blend. However, they do have quite a bit of fallout so I always recommend going in and doing your eyes first before your foundation. Using one of my favorite shades from the palette, Realgar, which is this very deep burnt orangey color. It is extremely pigmented, so you only need a little bit. I'm still using that same Morphe brush and just blending that over top on the crease to add a little bit more depth. Now we're going to go ahead and begin to create the cut crease and for that I'm going to use this eyeshadow base from NYX in the color white and I'm going to take this on a very small concealer brush, this one's from Wet n Wild, and just begin to paint over my lid at first and we're going to basically be creating a new crease or at least for me since I don't have a very defined crease. Once you have it all over the lid then you'll begin to start winging it out. Now do not to be afraid, I feel like this is definitely one of those looks that looks very ugly at first before it starts to look better. So I'm basically creating like a giant wing using this eyeshadow base. Sorry for kind of getting out of frame in some of these shots, but as you can see, I'm really just trying to get a very smooth line around the crease and continue to wing it out. And with this look, you definitely want to wait to do your foundation afterwards because we're going to go ahead and clean it up with the makeup wipe. So that's why you don't have to really worry about being super clean since the makeup wipe will definitely clean it up and kind of do all the work for you. As for the lid, I'm going to go in with the shade Primavera and it's a beautiful champagne color. I'm going to begin to pack that starting on the inner corner. I think this is called the Large Eyeshadow Brush from Wet n Wild. And as you can see, this base does crease a little bit. So I'm going to go in with a very small detail brush with a little bit of Realgar just to kind of clean that up and give it more of a sharp line. Now we're going to start to create the double cut crease. And for this, I'm using the Super Fine felt tip eyeliner from Essence. As you can see, it has a very fine tip. And we're going to begin kind of creating like a regular wing, but we're going to stop about just a little bit before the tip and kind of leave a little gap there as you guys will see. It's kind of hard to explain. I'm just kind of creating like a V shape on the outer corner and then we're gonna go ahead and shade that in using a black eyeshadow. And for that, you're gonna need like a really small detail brush. I'm just using any black eyeshadow. I think I used one from Urban Decay. You just wanna pack that on the outer corner and just kind of stay within that little V created with the liquid liner. Now I'm gonna take red ochre with a very small, I believe this is actually a concealer brush and we're just gonna pack Pack that right in between. It's going to help blend in Primavera with the black eyeshadow. To clean up the crease, I'm going to be taking this angled brush with any cream colored eyeshadow and just kind of sharpening up that cut crease. And then we're going to go over top with a little bit of glitter. And today I'm using the Urban Decay 
Decay. <laughs> Decay Glitter Eyeliner in the color Midnight Cowboy. It's one of my favorite gold glitter eyeliners. I'm just taking that and kind of layering it right in between the crease. I'm gonna go ahead and do my winged liner off camera as well as my foundation and concealer only because it was the same as last time. But I really wanted to use these Cover FX Enhancer Drops. I have mine in the shade Sunlight and I've really been enjoying these but I don't think I've actually try them out or use them on camera. So I like to go ahead and just kind of pat it in with my finger first and blend it out with a sponge. Surprisingly, even though they look kind of intimidating when you first pour them out, once you start to blend them out, especially when you use a sponge, you can kind of make them look a little bit more natural or of course build them up if you want you know, a serious glow. But now I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes and I'm using the same Ben Nye powders that I used in my last video. I'll have all the products I use in the description box below in case you guys are interested. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just set the rest of my face using any type of setting powder just to help the bronzer and everything else blend easier over top. I'm using the same bronzer as I did last time. It's the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Powder in the shade Medium with my e.l.f. complexion brush. And then we're gonna go ahead and contour a little bit same as always using my Kat Von D shade and light palette with my elf con no not my elf it is my wet and wild contour brush this is the same exact foundation routine as I just did in one of my previous videos now I'm just gonna go over top of that liquid highlighter with some champagne pop and I actually forgot to get a close-up of this but I think we're all pretty familiar with champagne pop at this point it's one of my favorite golden tone highlighters and as you guys can see I'm really layering this on because I really wanted a more dewy look for today and I believe the fan brush I'm using was from Morphe Going in with one of my favorite blushes from Milani. This one is in the shade Rose d'Oro. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen me use this one before. I'm just using my large stipple brush from e.l.f. and putting that right in between the contour and the highlight. I always like doing my blush after my highlight because I feel like it helps blend it all together easier. And then we're going to go ahead and jump back into the eyes to finish them up. And I'm using the gel waterproof eye pencil from Essence in the color black. I actually forgot to get a clip of me doing this, but I went in with a little bit of Cypress Umber with my flat shader brush and applied that kind of to the inner corner of my lower lash line. Then added a little bit more of that black eyeshadow on the outer third of my eye. And then just to kind of help blend it all together, I went in with a little bit more of Realgar and Burnt Orange and kind of buffed that around the edges just so I wasn't left with a harsh line. And to blend it all out, I'm using the Small Crease Brush by e.l.f. I don't even think I mentioned, but I did apply the Cocoa Lashes in the style Goddess. And then I'm just applying a light layer of mascara to my bottom lashes. As for the inner quarter, I am taking the City Color Shimmer Eyeshadow in the shade New Year, New Me. And I'm using this shade as my inner corner highlight as well as a little bit on my brow bone with the e.l.f. small concealer brush. Now I'm taking this liquid lipstick by Anastasia. This one is in the shade Ashton, which is a newer shade for me. I've really been enjoying it. And now to finish off the face, I'm taking my rose water from Heritage Store. And I'm using this like a finishing spray. And I always like to go in and add a little bit more highlight over top. The setting spray I'm using today is by Wet n Wild. And this will really just help lock everything into place and help it last a lot longer. And that pretty much completes this look. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If there's any other tutorials you would like to see me recreate, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.